Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. And um, I usually, um, sometimes at night, like I since I do these problems every day, I'll just look through lead code problems and um, find like ones that I might want to do. I'll like look through them, just see like general ones and like make a mental note like what I might want to do. Uh, by the way, I do all the hack rank and lead code problems. I have solutions and playlists on my channel and uh, description as everything else. But I was just looking through and I saw this one and I saw like, I always see all these ones with a lot of dislikes. And it's usually because you look at the description of the problem and they just don't explain it very well. But then you look at the solution and it's so easy. <clears throat> so if you read this description, write a class, uh, recent counter. And we see uh, this is the skeleton. Uh, and then they give you these methods. They give you constructor. And then it has this method ping. Uh, and it counts recent requests. It only has one method where t represents some time in milliseconds, right? So we have this t for time. Return the number of pings that have been made from 3,000 milliseconds ago until now. Um, any ping with time t to three t minus three thousand to t will count, including the current ping. Uh, it is guaranteed that every call to ping uses strictly larger value than t of t than before. So um, inputs would look like this. We have recent counter ping ping ping. ping. Um, so these are the actual inputs that we would want, or these times, right? So we'd have one, one hundred, three thousand one, three thousand two, and it's one, two, three, three. And then these are the counts. Uh, so ping returns the number of elements that are with, within 3,000 milliseconds ago. Um, so you think about this and you're like, well, how do you even implement a class? I think class problems are hard in general. Like, oh, implement this class that does this. It's like there's so many ways to implement something. But you look at the solution. Basically, I just wanted to... This isn't even a problem I should make a video on. But um, I'm just going to do the it's just a dumb problem that's why it's i'm gonna dislike it just a dumb problem so if you're struggling with this don't even worry about it you're just using a queue of integers um i'm gonna call it q um and when you initialize your class you have the constructor q is equal to new linked list just because you can use a linked list data structure to implement a queue obviously um and then this is just you add to the you add to the queue, so you add each time to the queue when you ping, and then the queue handles all of these times. So we want to this method also it adds to the queue and then it returns the number of elements in the queue that have been the number of pings that have been made within three thousand seconds. So we're going to be returning queue dot size, and we also need to manage this queue and keep these elements uh, out. That are more than 3,000 seconds. So we just have a little loop here. Um, so we just do while q.peak, while the next element up, um, one of the oldest elements that got put in because it's FIFO. Wait, no, first in, first out. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's like a line. So yeah, first in, you put it in at the end. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the first out. So um, while q.peak is less than t minus 3,000. Uh, then we just do q dot pull, and that will pop the element off of the queue, and then we can submit it, and that was it. So we just have to manage that one constraint. Um, it's just the boundary. This boundary, you just have to check for this boundary. Loop through the queue while this condition um, is still true. We just pull from the queue. And then we return the size at the end because that will the size of the queue after will be all elements within 3,000 milliseconds of the time we were just given. So um, that's pretty much the entire problem. It's really stupid problem. So I would just honestly forget about it. It's one of the just like a class implementation. I guess implementing classes is important. But look at this. We're doing good. These are locked. Uh, I made a video on all of these so far and I've been going through. So we're at where are we at? Right here, number of recent calls, and I think we made a video on this, so we're actually gonna do this one next. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys check check you guys later. No, just uh, I'll see you guys later. So, see ya.